So basically we have a webcam inside of here and it's uh, after the light passes through the diffraction grating, it's being picked up by the webcam, which is feeding information into this program, and then it's turning it into um, percentage of light absorbed. So it's a live connection between the camera and the display on the uh, monitor? Yes. Great. And uh, so how, what have you enjoyed so far about being here today? Um, it's really cool to see all the different projects and what kids our age can actually come up with. Yeah, what have you liked the most about being here today? Um, well, we've met a lot of new people too and I think it's just a really great experience. Is it the first time being a science fair? Uh, second. I was here last year too. How about yourself, Christina? Um, it's actually my first time this year. Well, congratulations on your projects and good luck. Thank you. Gregory, what school do you go to? Westboro Academy. Great, and uh, so... Uh, how have you enjoyed the day so far? Oh, it's been fun. Uh, I've been presenting my project to a couple judges. It's been a great day. And uh, what's your project on? I, I understand you're doing something to do with vodka. Tell me about it. <laughs> well, it's called Vodka Nastrovia, which um, in Russian means vodka cheers. And I'm testing how well certain mouthwashes work at killing bacteria within your mouth. I also tested vodka as a mouthwash. Did you drink any? No. <laughs> okay, great. So, um... Uh, did you learn anything here today? Did you talk to some of the other students and what what do you think you'll take away from today? Hopefully you win something, but also uh, what else do you think you'll you'll benefit from? Well, I've been going around looking at some of the projects and there's some very interesting high-tech projects and it's just great fun just meeting other people from other schools and just interacting and sort of looking at what other people's ideas are and what, this is basically the pioneers of the future and what they might do. So what do you like about science? Um, I'm just interested in science in general. I love sort of testing stuff, sort of seeing how stuff works, um, looking at like the history of certain things and just in general what something is. Why do you think it's important? Why do you think science is important? Uh, well, it's, it's important to know what things are and it's just important in general to know like how things work and how the world works, what the world is. Great. Well, thanks a lot, Gregory, and good luck. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is a spot GPS tracker here, a GoPro Hero camera, Kestrel weather meter, and a weather board. And this looks like a, a balloon, so this, this flew up into the air. How high did it go? 33 kilometers. Wow, and it, and it went pretty far as well, I understand. It pretty far away from Ottawa, did it? Yes, it went to East Hartwig, Vermont. And I understand you actually drove with your dad to go find it. Yes, that's correct. So how, how was that experience? It was pretty fun. Um, two kilometers of bushwhacking through the forest in w middle of winter, so it's an exciting experience. Great. So tell me about uh, today. Have you enjoyed the day so far? Yeah, I got a lot of judges and the project seemed really nice. And I'm really looking forward to tonight. Well, good luck with everything, Max, and a great project, and thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, hi. What's your name? Uh, I'm Tom. Tom? Tom? Yes. And Tom, uh, what school are you from? I'm from Franco West. Tom, uh, you just did something pretty cool. You tossed something in here and something moved. Can you do that again? What, what is it? Go ahead. Whoa, what just happened? Um, it's sorting recycling. So if I put paper in, it goes on the paper side, whereas it can. I love it. How does it work? Uh, well, there's a microphone here, which detects which detects which sound it is, which sends a signal to the brain. Now, this is uh, NXT, it's made by Lego. However, I did, you do have to program your own program, but you can, you, I just use the parts. Um, and then it can do the analyze and determine by the sound which object it is. Once it's been categorized, it turns the motor to the appropriate side. So you had to write some software for this project, or? Um, not necessarily write some software, but more I had to program it um, on the computer. Uh, after that, it was I downloaded it to the NXT model, and then I was able to use the microphone, uh, motion detector, and motors on top to, on it to pl and plug it in. Now the motion sensor is also used to determine when there's an object in front of it, so it doesn't just turn randomly whenever there's a sound around. 
So do you think uh, you'll go on Dragon's Den maybe and try to sell this as an idea to make a lot of money? What do you think? Uh, perhaps after I've uh, done a few modifications. I can't use NXT because it's because it's made by Lego, um, and so I can't I can't publish it. However, I could perhaps uh, build a circuit board. In in future, build a circuit board and then run it using motors and things that aren't used in NXT, but better quality ones. Not that NXT isn't good quality, but for example, use frequencies instead of volume to determine which uh, which object goes in which bin. Uh, I do have a professional microphone, but it didn't work with the computer because it, you need to plug it in directly to the computer, and it, w it you didn't have enough time. It didn't have enough time to process through everything for this particular project. With a circuit board, it might work a little better. Great. Well, good luck with everything. Um, bonjour. C'est quoi ton nom? Stéphanie. Oui. Teja. Uh, donc, vous êtes de quelle école? Uh, Franco Cité. Et uh, vous avez fait un projet sur quel sujet? Uh, la science de la terre. Donc, uh, on a créé une pelle à base de boue, appelée la pelle microbienne. Et... Donc là, vous avez de la boue, c'est ça? Donc, avec la boue, vous, vous réussissez à faire une pile? Oui, et créer un voltage. Et puis, ça serait quel avantage de faire une pile avec de la boue? C'est um, meilleur pour l'environnement, parce que ça ne fait pas de, du malheur à l'environnement. Et c'est aussi uh, très bon pour remplacer les piles um, maintenant qu'on a et pour faire une source d'énergie plus renouvelable. Parce que les piles, présentement, quand on n'en a plus de besoin, qu'est-ce qu'on fait avec? On les met où? On les met au dépotoir. Des potoirs, et puis là, ici, ça redeviendrait de la boue, c'est ça? Oui. Est-ce que, est -ce que ça pourrait marcher de façon commerciale? Est-ce que, est que je pourrais en acheter au magasin bientôt des, des, des piles à base de boue? En effet, il y a des compagnies telles que Plant E qui euh, sont en mesure euh, d'avoir de des produits euh, euh, qui, sont, euh, euh, qui sont à base de piles microbiennes qui se rendent sur le marché dans la, dans la prochaine année. Et ça a l'air pareil comme une pile qu'on voit aujourd'hui, c'est juste que c'est différent à l'intérieur, c'est ça? Ou? Euh, oui, il y en a qui sont comme ça et d'autres qui sont euh, de plus grande taille aussi. Et puis, euh, qu'est-ce que vous avez aimé aujourd'hui, votre journée à, à la force scientifique? Um, C'était vraiment intéressant parce qu'on avait présenté à de, des juges qui étaient des chimistes et tout ça. Et um, ils avaient vraiment comme compris notre projet. Et aussi, c'était vraiment intéressant de voir tous les autres projets. Tout le monde a vraiment travaillé très fort et c'était vraiment intéressant pour voir. Ben, félicitations les filles et puis bonne chance. Merci. Hi, girls. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> so, tell me your name and what school you're from. Um, I'm Avia from Fisher Park uh, Public School. And I'm Juliana, also from Fisher Park. And what grade are you guys in? Uh, we're grade both eight. in grade eight. And uh, this looks like a pretty cool project here. What is it that, that the structure is that I'm seeing here? Um, well, we're testing three different structures um, against earthquakes. They're all made up of Lincoln logs. And we are testing them um, when uh, transverse waves are present. So we made modifications to two of the buildings to see which one would um, best um, be, would stay, be stabilized the best against the earthquake. So this is for earthquake uh, safety for... Yes, yes, it is. Okay, and, and you can actually simulate this for me right now. Can you turn it on and show me? And we built this shake table. Yeah, let, let's see it. Okay, for sure. Watch out. So what's happening right now? So this is our building with the rolling foundation and it's basically moving back and forth at the same pace, at the same frequency as the earthquake, therefore stabilizing the building. So this is the most stable out of all the buildings that we tested. So how long will it stay like this? Um, we actually haven't tested how long it will stay for. I guess we'll see, but... Um, so if this was a real earthquake, it's already been quite a long time, right? Earthquakes yeah. don't last as long, do they? They usually last up to, at the most, 30 seconds. So we tested two different speeds, 10 seconds and 25. Um, but we're pretty sure that this building would last for quite a long time. Great. So what have you liked about uh, your experience here today? It's been really great to see all the different projects here at the Science Fair. And it's really cool to see how much time everyone has spent um, 
making these projects and making sure that they're so interesting and, and I really like them. There's it. so many demonstrations and there's people we know and it's just really fun to talk to people and they're all like really interested and in their topics. So it's yeah, it's been a really fun day. Well, thanks a lot for your time and uh, good luck with the uh, with the competition today. Thank you Thank so you. much.